there seems to be two tiers of discipline at this school. One for refugee students and one for everyone else. Now, in an era obsessed with identity politics, especially as it relates to bullying and equal rights, how can we afford not to pay attention to this story? Can you imagine if instead of ordinary Canadian kids, the children being slapped and choked were members of the LGBT community? Or, or, or what if they were Syrian refugee children themselves at the receiving end of such abuse? The public would be up in arms and the media would rightfully be piled outside of that school. But ordinary Canadian kids, well, they're not a trendy identity group to defend, so the media just ignores their cries for help. And yet, these concerned parents remain committed to finding an actual solution. They want more resources in this school to help these children integrate properly, get on with their kids, and learn right from wrong along the way. See, bullying itself, in this case, has a solution, more resources, and a different strategy. Political correctness, on the other hand, is a more pervasive and metastasizing disease for which the cure is still unknown. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.